Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ides Dolakia, is going to explain you decimal to BCD encoder in this session. And to understand decimal to BCD encoder, first I'll explain you the basics regarding decimal to BCD encoder. After that, we will make truth table of decimal to BCD encoder. Then we will find Boolean expressions of decimal to BCD encoder. And at the end, I'll explain you how we can connect circuit of decimal to BCD encoder. So when we say decimal to BCD encoder, then this encoder, that is what one can easily simplify from its name. You see decimal means 0 to 9, right, to BCD. So BCD is what binary coded decimal. So that is changing from 0000 to 1001. Right, encoder. So from name itself, we can easily design decimal to BCD encoder. Now, let me explain you this by block diagram first. So as if we have decimal to BCD encoder. In that case, we have total 10 inputs, right? It starts from 0, 1, 2 and it goes up to 9. So total 10 inputs are there and we have total 4 outputs. Right. And let us say those are B0, B1, B2 and B3. So we have 10 inputs and four outputs. So that is what decimal to BCD encoder. Now let us make a truth table. So that will resolve your understanding. Right. So here at input side, we have decimal number and at output side, we have B0, B1, B2, B3, BCD. Now here, if you observe this decimal number, then that is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Total 10 decimal numbers are there. And with respect to this decimal number, binary data are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and for 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. See, this is how this BCD binary data is there, right? So, now you see, we have this truth table, and based on this truth table, now we can simplify Boolean expression. So, see, to have B3, how B3 relation is there? So, B3, that is active high in case of 8 and 9 terminal, right? So, B3, that is equals to 8 terminal or 9 terminal, right? If you want to solve B2, then you see, B2 is active high when 4, 5, 6 and 7 terminal is on. So we can say B2 that is active high during 4, 5, 6 and 7 terminal. As if you want to calculate B1 then you see B1 is active high during 2, 3, 6 and 7 terminal. 2, 3, 6 and 7 terminal. So, ORing operation that we need to do. And to have B0 encoding, if you observe, it is active high during 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So, ORing of 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9, that will result into 
B0. So this is what Boolean expression that we have. And now we are dealing with to make circuit which will solve this Boolean expression. So to have a circuit here, I'll be going to connect input terminals. So see, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are my input terminals. Let us stretch a line. Now, first I'll explain you how we can simplify B3. So you see B3 is 8 or 9. So here we need to have OR gate. Here we have B3. So that is 8 or 9. So that is my B3. Now if you see what is B2. So that is 4 or 5 or 6 or 7. So here to have B2 we have 4 so that is this terminal or 5 or 6 or 7 right so that is how we can have b2 now see to have b1 it is 2 or 3 or 6 or 7 so here we need to have or gate this is b1 and that is 2 or 3 or 6 or 7 see that is how we can have b1 right now to have b0 you see it is 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9 so here to have b0 i need to connect 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9 see that is how we can have b0 right so this is how we can form a circuit for decimal to bcd encoder i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will resolve queries of students so your suggestions are motivating me so please give it over here thank you so much for watching this video